Hey everyone, my name's Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Openel Picnic Plus. This is a utensil set um, or utensil inserts for the Openel number eight. Pick this up because I'm really looking for utensil sets to add to my camp kitchen, um, not only for myself to use, but to lend out to people when they're camping with me um, for um, cutlery. So this set, you can either purchase it with the Open L number eight or on their own. So you would get the spoon, fork, and microfiber napkin slash carrying case. Um, I think that's like $18, or you can get it with the Open L number eight. I think they are $35. Um, I personally already had a number eight, so purchased it just like it is here. Um, so how it works is you have either the fork or spoon, and let's show with the fork. Um, and one side has a long tang and a little piece sticking out on the other side. And what you do is you stick the long end in the back of the open L. And then on some of them, uh, the fork is a little bit tighter than the spoon. So I do need to push down a little bit until that notch is where that pivot collar will engage. And then you just tighten that pivot collar and you have the fork in place. When that pivot collar is closed, it does prevent the blade from opening up so you don't have to worry about accidentally getting cut when you're trying to use that fork or when you're trying to use the spoon. Um, fork size is basically a standard fork size in terms of the prongs and bend to it so you're not going to be trying to use um, a flimsy camping utensil. Um, this is very strong uh, made out of a stainless steel and you can see here it's not not easily bending or flexing. It's a pretty good um, thickness on here. Uh, right in pretty limited on there. It says N8 for open L number eight. This, um, these utensil inserts only work on the wooden handle uh, open L number eights. And then on this other side, you have the open L logo right there. And that's on both of them. And the number eight is also on both. Blade play, limited. You get a little bit of side to side and then very little up and down. It's not coming out of there because it is locked in with that little notch on the utensil. Really locks into that collar. So they did a great job at making that. Spoon is a little bit looser. In my example, you don't have to really push it down in order to get the um, get it to lock into that pivot collar. And then it does have a little bit more blade play. But, I mean, that's not going to prevent you from using it as a spoon at all. The concern I have with using a open L as a cutlery utensil or really around food, um, if you're going to use this for, let's say, mountain house meals where you're throwing boiling water into a bag, there's a lot of steam that comes up. And the wooden handle is going to absorb that um, moisture especially in, in that pivot area, which is going to make it difficult to um, actuate both that collar as well as if you need to open the blade. So uh, open L's, in my opinion, or in my experience, um, don't function great around water, and that is a carbon steel blade. So potentially could cause rust issues if you're not going to um, keep it dry afterwards. So you're not going to be able to just throw this into something like a dishwasher or um, let it soak overnight um, when you're camping. Of course, if you make sure just to get the spoon itself wet, you may not have those issues. Um, one thing that is somewhat of a concern when having both a knife, fork, and spoon set is can you use the fork to hold down your food while cutting it with a knife? With this, they do have long enough of a handle where you can kind of hold this with one hand without having to actually get your fingers into the food and be able to use the knife at the same time. 
Of course, you can't use this wooden handle as the fork handle while doing that. So that is somewhat of a limitation. To close it up, you simply put the spoon on the bottom, has this little notch that the fork goes into, and slide it into this smaller spot. The larger spot, you put the open L number eight, fold the microfiber napkin up, sides, and then you can just roll that up. And has an elastic band that closes up. A couple other alternatives that I've purchased over the years are the Gerber Complete, which I actually keep in my backpack. I made a video on this a few years ago, and that has a spatula, a little multi-tool peeler, a spork, and a spoon. These are extremely light, and I have been very happy with this set. As well as, one of my favorite things about this, you can take either the spork or the spoon, and it turns into a pair of tongs. Doesn't really have an effective knife. You can use the side of the spatula, but the advantage of the open L over that is you get more of a traditional style of cutlery set because you have a very effective knife. Open Ls are just stunning in terms of their cutting ability, both for um, foods as well as to do woodwork. Um, so more of a traditional style with the open L versus something that would probably be a little better for like mountain house meals, especially with this long uh, spoon without any wood on it. Another alternative is this outdoor edge chow pal. which has a kind of combination of spoon, which gets a pretty good sized spoon, which all three of these are, are decent sized spoons. You have a knife on here. This one actually has, well, this has a lock also on it. And a fork, which this is kind of an example of a, well, not super flimsy, Fork, but not as sturdy as on the open L. And this has a bunch of gimmicks on it. The little, um, whatever those little adjustment wrenches are, and yeah. But there you go. That is basically the video of the open L Picnic Plus. I really like it. Um, I will probably keep uh, one of these sets in my camp kitchen. Um, I haven't decided whether I'll pick up another one um, to add to it or if I'm going to have maybe this um, and the Gerber Complete. And it doesn't have to be matching what I let somebody else use versus what I use. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. Let me know what your thoughts are, and have a great day.